So I went on. And it was from there that I, I began to think, you know, how exactly, you know, does faith in God, and I had experienced it from a, a personal sense, that faith in God, that coming to understand the, the love of God and coming to understand what it means to be forgiven, these, these principles that are taught through Christianity, that the need to give one's life in, into following Jesus Christ, I had understood those principles actually first. So then the question was, okay, now I'm learning in university. I went to MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I was studying physics. Um, what does it mean to, to learn more and more about the complexity of the universe as a Christian? I never had any sort of philosophical issue. There was never a conflict for me. I did have to, to regauge my understanding of the magnitude of, of God's workings, you know, as I understood more and more about the, the, the vastness of the universe and the evolution of the universe, meaning the changing throughout time, it's just absolutely awe-inspiring. I mean, it, it, when you realize how many galaxies there are, I mean, I can even say that today, it sounds almost trite, but there are hundreds of billions of galaxies and hundreds of billions of stars in each one. When you start actually looking at these images of, of galaxies from the Hubble Space Telescope from, and from others and, and just gauging the actual magnitude of the universe, it should continue to make your jaw drop every time you do that. I had to begin to gauge that, in fact, the God that I continued to love and worship had been at work for an awfully long time sculpting this universe in which we live. And yet I continued very much to experience that same God that I was understanding as handiwork better, um, working very much in individual lives, very much according to the scriptural teachings that people do have a problem with sin, that there is hatred, that there is evil, that there is such a thing as right and wrong, that there are things that people do that are just patently evil and that there is such a thing as love, that these concepts are not just chemically construed in the human brain, but that they're actually genuine experiences that we have and, and people can genuinely have a personal relationship with God. I was experiencing all of that at the same time and you know I've never I've never personally had a conflict with these things. I understand that people do, but my own path has been not having a philosophical conflict with these things, but rather just allowing my understanding to grow as we discover more things.